Hi guys, John Hands Connect here with the YY Neoden YY1. Um, I've been doing some experimentation. Uh, one thing that I don't like about the down looking camera is the amount of reflection that you get off the four lights. They affect your ability to select a fiducial if it's a, bo a simple hole on the board, um, and they affect um, your ability to see it while you're aligning to a part. Um, here you can see, I'll give an example, moving over a part. And uh, the way it's illuminating and reflecting, it just sometimes makes it difficult to see the center. So I have a solution for this. And let me go ahead and remove this little piece here and I'll show you what we got. Okay, here I've powered down the uh, Neoden YY1 and uh, using the uh, cables simply unplug and they can only go back one way. And two uh, screws are used to remove it from the unit. This is the, uh, the filter set that I have. I went through about 20 different types of filter to end up with these. I'm looking for my tweezers can't find them. Anyway, there, there is a, a diffusion lens or a diffusion piece and a Fresnel lens and that it's directionally sensitive. So it can only go on one way. And I've cut it so that there's a little tab off to the right on both of them. And so what we're going to end up with is the light going down, passing through the Fresnel, the uh, diffusion lens first, and then through the Fresnel. And I can't do it while I'm holding my phone to film this. So here, I'll put it together real quick. Here it is mounted. Um, so you can see when, when it's uh, on the machine, that little tiny tab is to the right when looking down at it or looking at it. Um, and if you put it on backwards, you're not going to get the result that I get. So here, I'll remount this to the machine and show you the results. Okay, I've turned it on. I've got it mounted. This is the part where you're going to notice that it's immediately better. I've gone to a blank area of my board that's just highly reflective. And um, before, there used to be four distinct spots, um, lights, that were bright. And now they're, they're quite dim compared to how they were. Um, it doesn't show well on my video, so I'll take a couple still pictures. Okay, now we're ready to do some fiducializing and things like that. I want to uh, first go into the parameters page. This is where you would enter 2022. And the down looking camera threshold should not be default 50%. It should be 5%. I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to pull up my test file. And I'm going to edit the fiducial. Oops. I'm going to select the component first. Here I am. Um, let's see. Here's my board in, in the proper place. And there's the component I'm going to throw a zero ohm resistor on. Um, so that's done. Now I'm going to move and create myself a fiducial. You can probably already tell in this video how how the, the LEDs are not reflecting off this board anymore. So let me center in this hole. And I'm going to say done. And it will say, yeah, it found the fiducial. It's showing it as a nice black circle there. And uh, I'm going to exit. I'm going to go ahead and mount my test file. And I'm going to run it. And let's see it find that, yeah, it was so quick, you might have missed it, but it found that fiducial, it placed the part, the zero ohm jumper, and it's done. So now I'm going to screw up the board, I'm going to not have it, I'm going to have it about a millimeter off, and sweep that zero ohm jumper out of the way, and let me mount it again, well it's already mounted, I'm going to run it again, let's see if it finds the fiducial off center. 
Oh yeah. It had no problem. And it placed the part exactly where it needs to be. All right. Now I'm going to offset the board a little bit in Y also. So it's offset in X and Y slightly. Yeah, I'm rotating the board, but which isn't good. But I'm just showing that if if your paneled board were cut um, off in Y and off in X. So let's run it. Let's see if it finds that fiducial. Oh, yeah. And you could see how far it was off, but it went ahead and found it, and it placed the part. So this is a uh, definite solution, guys. And uh, I'm going to have these up on eBay. Uh, I get, I'm, I'm, I'm saying 15 bucks because I did a lot of work. I evaluated, I, I had to laser cut these and tested a bunch of different uh, polarizers and type, different types of film. Anyway, it's a good solution. All right, bye.